Oh, hello everyone. As you can see, I'm not very good at this whole thing. I don't even know where the camera is. There it is there. Um, welcome. This is the first time I have ever done a YouTube live video. And uh, what I am doing uh, today, it's the 1st of August today, I'm actually doing a live Red's Art Cart reveal rather than I pre-record, edit it, and then put it up at the beginning of the month. So I don't know if I actually introduce myself. My name's Jane. I am the owner of Mrs. Red's Art Room. I am called Mrs. Red. Uh, and Mrs. Red's Art Room is an online art business that does online art classes and has an online art shop as well. Um, so, and in regards to what this video is about, it's a subscription art box that I put out every month. It is Australian, however, you don't have to be in Australia to receive it. Uh, you can be anywhere in the world. And today's um, video is all about what is inside the August Reds Art Cart. So, why am I doing a live and why am I sitting outside? And why can you hear my birdie in the background? Let's start with the birdie first. My son and I do breed birds, or we're at least trying, and the one that you can hear squawking in the background at the moment is the Indian ringneck. We're not trying to breed him. He is a one-off. He knows I'm sitting out here. He would like to be out here as well, and that's why he's squawking. He may start talking, which would be a lot nicer. Um, and then there's other birds as well in the aviary that you will be able to hear. You can probably hear the lorikeets from time to time. Um, but enough about them. So why am I sitting outside and why am I going live? They relate. The theme for the August Reds Art Cart is all about urban sketching. Urban sketching is being out of your house. Could be in your backyard, could be at a cafe, could be down at the beach, could be driving along as the passenger and drawing what's in front of you. Um, urban sketching is different to say plein air. Plein air is all about painting on location and the urban sketching is basically piece of paper and a pencil would be the basic. Uh, so the urban sketching um, theme uh, that is the reason why I am outside, for starters, which is a bit annoying given that the bird wants to keep talking to me. Um, and uh, what else did I have to say before I turn the camera? I'm about to turn the camera and actually reveal what's inside. So, yeah, behind me is my backyard. Um, yeah, there we go. It goes up a hill. And the doggy is here as well. Um, I'll flip to him, or well, maybe I can come around. There he is in the background there. Paddy, you gonna say hello? Say hello. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around now and we're going to reveal, actually we can't yet. I've gotta just, here, I'll let you see that because I've actually gotta put the contents back inside the box. I had to have them out for the thumbnail. And now I've got to put them all back in the box so that I reveal it. So I hope you're getting a nice, it's a nice day today at least. It's a nice blue sky. Okay, all right, I'm going to now flip it around and we're going to see what is inside the August Reds Art Cart. Oh, goodness, here we go. I've just got to find out where the flip was. Okay, the big reveal. So we're actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything out on the table and then we're going to go through it. Just get that out of the way there. All right, so there's our info card. And inside here, gently put down all these bits and pieces. And I might have to flip that out. Okay, all right, I'll promise to have a bit of camera work now. All right, so let's start with um, the info card. Now, the artist who I've used, this is the first time I've actually used someone else uh, for the artwork. So thank you to Susie Poland, who is also an Australian artist. She lives down on the northern beaches of Sydney. Uh, she, I contacted her in regards to her urban sketching that she does. 
Uh, she's got quite, quite a few nice little urban sketches that she does out and about. And um, I asked her if I could please use one of her images. Um, I'll tell you the reason why a little bit later. Um, and sorry, I'm just reading that Wendy's actually online watching me. Hello, Wendy. Um, so, yeah, so Susie Poland, her details are on the info card. Uh, you've got her Instagram page there. Now, with her website, she's actually just created a website. So you can actually just go to Susie Poland. Actually, is it Su yeah, susiepoland.com and you can get a website or you can go to her blog. So that's the... I always put um, a example of what's inside the cart on one side of the info card and then on the other side of the info card just explains what is inside the cart and where you can get it from and a little bit of information about it and then a few other little bits and pieces down the bottom of each cart as well. So we'll start with our visual diary which is the main piece of this month's cart. This is the reason why the art cart has actually received their, um, their art carts this month not in a box. They actually receive them wrapped up in bubble wrap because that box there weighs 100 grams. This book here weighed just over 400 grams. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I go over 500 grams, I've got to pay more postage and I try not to do that. So that is why uh, this month's cart was sent out in bubble wrap. This book is gorgeous, beautiful. A5, as you can see, uh, 32 sheets or 64 pages, 180 GSM drawing paper, and a 62 GSM tracing paper. Acid-free means that it's the paper's never going to stain um, and, and sort of have that old look to it. It will remain the white color that it is. Um, now, it's hard to see here. There we go. There's the tracing paper interleave there, and that will happen with every page. Now, the great thing about this and the urban sketching is that if you have charcoal, pastels, or even just heavy graphite pencils, the artwork that you do here is not going to rub off onto here onto this side. If you're the type of person who likes to use both sides of your paper, you can also do that because that, that's what the tracing paper is for. It's to protect the artwork that you're doing. If you are using um, materials that will rub. So that's a beautiful thing about that little, and it's hard cover too. You can see the texture there. It's a really nice soft, Sort of, I don't know, not, not kind of a rubbery feel, but very nice. Okay, let's move along to our art supplies that we've got here. All higgledy-piggledy at the moment, I'm sorry. The pen that I've chosen, which again, if I go back to Susie Poland's artwork, with her urban sketching, she basically takes a diary and a black pen. Pretty much is what I've seen of her examples. Um, so I have included a black pen. It is an Artline 200. There's nothing fancy about these pens. Uh, they're not waterproof. So if you do use this and put a little wash in it, don't do it. Don't do the wash after you've put the black pen down. These are just a good old fashioned black marker pen. Nothing fancy. Um, then we've got the Conti de Paris um, graphite pencil. Uh, what's this one? HB. Uh, just, I mean, it's it's a graphite pencil, basically. Um, I haven't ever used this brand before, and it just feels nice. It's very smooth. As um, To complement that one, we have a big graphite stick. Now, hang on, let me just turn my info card back over so I can say a few things about these. Um, it's actually called a graphite crayon. So it's the Kohenor brand. There's nothing actually written on the graphite stick. It, not too heavy, but the best thing about these is that if you're working probably on a larger size than the A5, you can actually use one of the sides of it. It's the hexagonal 
um, or octagon, I think it is, I can't remember, um, so that you can actually put it down and go back and forth and create a nice shaded area with it. Uh, these ones that I've put in here are 2B. I used it purely just up here, but it, again, it was really nice to use. Don't drop them though, you know what's going to happen. Uh, I'll move on to these first. These are the Carbothello pencils, uh, Stabilo. I have put one of these in one of the other art carts before in the past. Um, everyone is getting two colours. The colours are different in all the carts. So there's, there's three combinations of colours. These are a pastel pencil. Uh, they're actually... They're actually referred to as a soft coloured charcoal pencil. Um, so pastel or charcoal, either or. Very soft. And what I love about these is that you can actually put water with them. So they will turn into a bit of a watery pastel if you want. Um, I, I have not tried this paper out yet. So it's saying drawing paper. Drawing paper as opposed to a mixed media paper means that if you put water with it, you may or may not get that balling effect. So... I haven't tried it out in, in this yet. I'm not sure how water will go inside that journal. <clears throat> um, so with these pencils, again, there's, there's many of them in the range and um, everyone's getting two of them. Use them together or, or, or just use one of them in your sketching. Uh, then we move on to the blenders. So everyone's getting three sizes of of the blenders. These are just great for both your pastels and um, your graphites. And also if you've got charcoal, um, Conti sticks, they're really good for those as well. So just three different sizes. If you haven't used blenders before, if the tip starts to get a bit bally, please don't try and sharpen it. Um, they don't sharpen. They are compressed paper rolled up. Another name for them is a tortillion. The tortillion, you can see the paper being rolled up a little bit easier than this one. This one's actually referred to as a paper stump. I think I've got, oh no, that's all right. I thought that shadow there was my finger across the lens, but it's not. So everyone's getting three of those. And then the good old kneadable eraser. Now it looks lovely and clean here in its little packet. You'll end up using it a lot. It will start to go a little bit darker in colour and it will start to look like a ball of blue tack. But what you can do with the kneadable eraser is just mould it into a fine little point and then say you've got some graphite down, you can just tap away and it will lift the graphite back off the paper. Um, they're perfect. Great. Everyone should have one of them. So I think I've explained everything that's in the cart. What I would like to also explain um, is that urban sketching is not for everyone. I may actually turn it back around onto myself to explain this. Um, actually, no, I won't to begin with because I'm going to actually show you some of my examples. Now, the reason why I have chosen someone else to do the artwork this month and I only asked her two weeks ago is because my efforts at urban sketching were really poor. I did have a go. I've got a journal here. And uh, this is just my everyday journal that is a, a few years old now. And here we go. That, so that was me just having, having a little play, seeing um, what I can do with the materials. I've then done a really bad drawing. I'll show you, I'll lift it up. There is a board rack over there. And that was the first drawing I did and hated it, absolutely hated it. This was the second one, which is just basically my garden boots against the side of this table, etc. I was happier with that one, but still it's just a little bit, I don't know. Uh, this again, just playing with one of the Carbothello pencils and water. And then this one, starting to feel like I was getting a bit of confidence. Um, just a wheelbarrow with wood in it for a fire. And then I did my doggy and just hated it. So that's when I kind of stopped and thought, no. All right, I'm going to flip it back around onto myself. There we go. Um, so urban sketching. I know it's not for everyone. 
Would I say it's not for me? No. I love to experiment and give things a go. But I think with urban sketching, you have to be comfortable being around other people, say in a cafe um, or down at the beach. You've got to be comfortable with the public actually wanting to come up and talk to you, want to look at your artwork and even say, oh, are you an artist? What's your name? Can I follow you? You've got to be comfortable with that. I know on Facebook, you can actually join urban sketcher groups in your area. So you can look up your area, you can look up, I think there's like, there's Brisbane. I don't think there's a Gold Coast one. I know there's an Adelaide one, um, and I'm pretty sure there's ones in Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, <coughs> in major cities, and of course they're all around the world as well. So you can join them, um, and they actually do days where they go out and all sketch together. For my art carters, I don't know how many of you are comfortable with urban sketching, but that is a great reason as to why you're receiving this uh, box of urban sketching stuff. You can take all of this on the road with you. You can pack it into your handbag or some other backpack or something um, and go on location. You don't need anything else. Uh, you don't need to have a water brush. You don't have to use those carbothellos and put water to them. Look it up online too. Go to Instagram. Have a look at urban sketches on Instagram. Um, even I didn't check out Pinterest, but I'm sure there's a lot of urban sketching on Pinterest. And just have a go as well because the actual... Um, just sitting down and doing a drawing in itself, no matter how bad it is, like some of my sketches were, the feeling you get from just sitting there and drawing, it, it's, it's art therapy, it's relaxing, and even though I wasn't happy with my results, it didn't mean I wanted to get up and head off and have to pick the kids up from school and things like that. I would love to sit there and do a little bit more of it. Um, I, I, I would like to hear from my art carters, um, in regards to if they've given this a go, if they've already done urban sketching before and their thoughts on it. Uh, so I will put the details up as well about the art carts. If you just go to mrsredsartroom.com, you can go to the art cart section and check out more information in regards to um, the monthly art subscription. And um, there's going to be no artwork for this month because obviously Susie Poland has done it. Thank you very much, Susie. And uh, there will be blog posts about her and about the contents of the art cart as well that will be coming up. So thank you for bearing with me for my very first Facebook Live. And uh, I will be in contact with you all on Facebook, on Instagram. Post a message on this YouTube um, Live because it will upload afterwards. And I will see you next month for the September Reds Art Cart. It sounds scary that I'm saying September already. All right, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day and go out and do some urban sketching. See you.